Hi everyone, thought I'd give my thoughts on anti-reflective coatings and lenses, my observations that I've noticed over the years. There's very little information online and thought I'd just report my own experiences. So I have four lenses and glasses that you see on the table. There are ones that I've collected over the years. I try to get new glasses since I have vision insurance that covers it. At the back, we have Warby Parker with a 1.74 high index lens, as well as their anti-reflective coating. Next, we have a pair of Ray-Bans with some Hoya lenses and their reflective anti-reflective coating. Next, I have some Oakley's, and again, another 1.74 high index lens. And I went with, I went with, uh, got it at some, Korean shop, but they sold me on these lenses saying that they're as good as um, SLR's Sapphire 360 or the Zeiss Dervision Platinums. So I have that here. And then up in front, my newest pair are a pair of Zeiss, um, I think they're Smart Life lenses, and they are, they have the Zeiss Dervision Platinum anti-reflective coating on them. So first up, let me talk about Warby Parkers. Warby Parkers in general, what I notice is their frame are generally, um, they feel a little bit cheaper in quality. Um, the lenses themselves, I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, <clears throat> you'll see that they generally have, you'll see, I don't know how well this is going to turn up on the camera, but you'll see on the left-hand side, it'll have like a pink anti-reflective um, coating, or that's what it looks like reflecting back the color. So the lights I have above me, it's kind of weird because the left lens, what you're seeing on your screen might be pink, but on my side, it's a much lighter blush type of pink than versus what you're seeing. And then on the other lens, on the right-hand side, even though on your screen, you might be seeing like a blue type of tint, I'm actually seeing kind of a, um, I would say that it's more of a green tint, like a light green tint instead of the blue that you're seeing on the screen. So that's the type of reflection, the anti-reflective coating that you can expect from the Warby Parkers. Um, when I compare it to the other anti-reflective coatings, um, it's a slightly darker pink and a slightly darker green that you get reflected back to you. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. I don't know what that means, but as far as preference goes, um, that tells me that it's not as anti-reflective as some of the other coatings that I've gotten that are more of a lighter pink or a lighter um, green reflection that's coming back. <clears throat> Next up, we have the uh, Ray-Bans with the Hoya lenses and anti-reflective coating in them. Um, these ones reflect green on both lenses. On the left side, it's reflecting green with, with these lights that are overhead of me. They're reflecting green. Um, on your screen, you're seeing, I think, more of a blue tint. But they're both, on the left and right lenses, from your perspective, they're both reflecting back green. And again, it's a lighter green than the Warby Parkers. Now, you'll see these smaller reflections in the background. Those are reflecting a lighter pink. And I think that has to do with Again, I think it, it depends on what light source you're ref you're reflecting and where that light source is coming from. And so what you're seeing really is two reflections. One is those small little dots that you see reflecting. Those are reflecting the light pink. And then the bigger dots that you see reflecting, those are actually coming up more as a what you're seeing as blue, the big circles, those are actually reflecting back a light green. 
these lenses are okay. I think they do a pretty good job at, <clears throat> these Hoyas do a pretty good job at um, being water phobic as well as oleophobic. So you don't have to clean them as much. And I forgot to comment that on about the Warby Parkers as well. Um, as far as anti-water, anti-oil properties to, to keep your lenses cleaner longer, I would say that... <clears throat> that they're not as good as the um as the Hoyas at repelling water or repelling oil and dirt. So you have to clean them quite a bit more. And again I wish I knew the um the brand of this Korean lens. Um but I'll go ahead and give you my comments. So again this is a pair of Oakley's with some, again, it's either some Korean or Japanese lens maker. I forgot the name. Um, but it promises to have wider field of view. And it is a pretty clear um, image across, like when you scan your eyes left to right, up and down. It's pretty clear. I do like the clarity of them. Um, the reflection on these that you get back. The quality of the anti-reflective properties are, I would say, equivalent to the Hoyas. Um, they they show now when I ref, when I reflect these back into your camera, if we on the left side, we're actually seeing a light pink color for that reflection, and on the right lens, what you're seeing, which is like a white color or bluish color, what I'm seeing on my end is actually a really light green color. So as far as anti-reflective properties goes, I would say that this is the lightest out of the three. So I think it has the highest quality anti-reflective properties. But what I don't like about these particular lenses is that they don't seem to be as, they're, they're really good at water repellency, but I do notice I get a lot more um, skin oils that collect up up in the up in the the upper portions of the lenses because I think it's closer to my face uh, compared to the other lenses. So I do think that it collects more oils, and that that's one thing um, where I don't think I would buy this lens again just because of the um, accumulation of dirt. And then going back to the anti-reflective properties, it is, um, it, compared to the Hoyas, you know, where the Hoyas had the anti-reflection of green in the left and right lenses, the this brand has, again, kind of more of a pink reflection on the left lens and a green reflection on the right lens. And again, it really changes whether or not you're going to see green or pink depending on, I think, your light source. But it was really interesting just to see how the Hoyas reflected both greens and both lenses with the light source that I'm currently using versus um, the Warby Parkers and the, um, the Korean lens manufacturer having the pink and green reflection from this light source that I'm currently in. So the newest pair of glasses that I have are Zeiss Smart Life, I believe, and they come with the Duravision Platinum anti-reflective coating. And I would say that these are the best lenses I've had so far. Um, I really like that if you see in the upper left hand corner of that lens, there is a Zeiss watermark. Um, it's not visible, um, when you're viewing, when you're, when you're putting the glasses on, but the watermark is nice because it shows just authenticity of the lenses. Again, I think there's a lot of, um, there's some shady opticians out there and you don't know if they're. Even if you get try to get a premium lens, it's unsure whether or not they're actually purchasing from a lab 
that's providing you with an authentic lens or if they are outsourcing to another lens manufacturer and giving you an inferior product. But this one, um, again, because it has that Zeiss watermark, you know you're getting what you're paying for. Um, I think you have to be careful, especially in Southern California where I live, there's a lot of Asian shops that might be giving and passing on inferior product for real. Um, again, like this and this, like uh, who knows what lenses they're actually using. I mean, I said I wanted Hoyas with this. They said they got it, but I can't verify if they're really Hoyas or not. Um, going back to the Zeiss Smart Life, they have a really interesting anti-reflective coating. And again, none of these have um, an explicit blue light specific filter, although some of them do because of the properties of their anti-reflective coating, they naturally do reflect some blue light, but none of these are the specific blue light filtering coating from Warby Parker or Hoya or from that Korean lens manufacturer or from Zeiss. These are all strictly premium AR coatings. So with the Zeiss reflective coating, I would say that it is the best anti-reflective coating for what I'm looking for. Um, the anti-water and dirt properties of it seem to be very high, um, very comparative to my Crizals. I don't have my Crizals up here. Um, they, they are a decade old and gave way. Um, but as far as what I've talked to, uh, the performance of them, when I've talked to other opticians and people in the industry, it seems like the Zeisses are supposed to be more durable than the Sapphire 360s. Um, again, I don't have real life experience with the Sapphire 360s, but from the opticians that I've talked to who have dealt with both, um, that's the feedback that I've gotten in my research. Uh, the reflection for these, instead of it being green, like the three lenses above it and my old, my old Crizals, I had old Crizal Avance, I think. Um, but these reflections are actually, instead of it being green or pink, this is actually more like a, a very light white or whitish, slightly bluish tint type of reflection back. So I think it actually looks really, really good. Um, and I definitely think I will be purchasing them again. I'll have an updated review if that, if that changes, but so far so good. I think it's a pretty quality lens and um, I highly recommend it at this point. Thanks.